Hi, Tori. Hi. Thank you for everything. Um, so as a longtime fan, uh, I've connected with a lot of other fans, and it seems like we all have really intense, emotional, and deep connections with you and your music. Um, and I'm curious, you know, you've seen that we all tend to want to hug and, and tend to cry when we meet you. <laughs> and it, it never stops. With every album, the connection just grows deeper and deeper. And I'm curious what your emotional response is to that, especially, I mean, it's been 30 years now, and does it, does it ever get to be too much? Does it ever get old? I mean, you're just, you're just one woman just making music. Uh, is it ever overwhelming to you? And thank you. Well, I, um, when you asked me about meditation, that's a little misleading, my answer, because I think there's something that is important to share, which is I'm, I take time to be grounded before I listen to somebody's story because it's, it's very sacred. And I know that, that there's a time pressure sometimes too which can, which can create um, a hidden anxiety. So I'm holding a space for as much calm as possible and hoping for letters because I read the letters on the bus. And that's when I'm able to then hear what somebody is wanting to share. That's how I learn a lot about what you all are thinking and what you're experiencing and what the, I don't like the word show, what the evening could be. And even though I might have read it, the, the letters are from Minnie St. Paul, and I'm reading them on the way to Wisconsin and Chicago, and the effects of that letter doesn't come out until Chicago, I still think, okay, that's okay. It's, it's a little late, but I was born two weeks late, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. And, but, but it is about grounding to be able to hear and, and contain, really. It's about containing those messages and stories that are being sacredly given. And I take it very seriously.